Gabriel Otieno Mark Opuodo from Kitengela says, it's so sad that many men die in silence, like I do. Ay! Did you die? Sorry. <laughs> Javedi, don't die, Marco Puodo. Please, we need you. I do everything in the house in terms of chores. I'm a father of two. I really love my kids so much. Sometimes I feel like moving out of our matrimonial home and seek refuge outside for the sake of peace. Even the simplest spreading my bed, she can't. I'm just tired, but for the love of my kids, I have never thought of Mpango Wakando. Please help. Wow, this is so interesting because this story, Benjamin, wait, no, mm -mm, stop shaking your head. This story is usually the roles are always You're right. reversed. You're right. And he's even saying he's not even gone out to seek Mpango Wakando. Like, uh, for those of you who don't understand uh, Swahili, that means a side piece, let's, let's say, right? So, what is happening here? He sounds like a really good I, man. I was about to tell you he this. He loves his kids. This, he's is, doing house this is the chores. third guy I'm handling this weekend. A gentleman who works the whole day, comes home to cook, put kids to bed, spread, uh, does everything. A gentleman. One of them was so crying. There were two of them there. Is the lady who can say, oh, my husband is not doing enough. Only to realize she is the bad one in the story. So the point is to say, this man who found yourself trapped. Remember I started by saying there are men who get trapped into a woman who didn't want anything to do with the marriage. Do you want to submit or to work for anything? She just, she just there. And then you end up doing, lifting all the weight as a man. I want to ask men, number one, you are the leader in this relationship. Number two, you don't stay in a marriage that is not working just because of the children. Children will grow and go. You have a life to live. You have your own needs. You don't need to die in <clears throat> depression. He started by saying men are dying in silence. These are the ones who give up, think of suicide or depression. Brother, don't do that. And, and I want that guy to, co to contact me with talk, a man talk. I enjoy helping such kind of men. Because remember, Joyce, you said after, uh, after, if this thing doesn't work after the breakup, the offender, the one who was on the wrong, always deteriorates. But mm. the one who was being offended always accelerates. Because now they are free from the, from, 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 from the abuse and they can do better. So this guy won't tell him there are options. Don't stay there until you die of depression. Wow. Hey, okay. I want to read some SMSs. My time is really running out now. Uh, let me read a couple and then you can respond collectively. Someone here says, good morning, Joyce. I'm a victim of a rattlesnake lady. Now look what you've done. <laughs> look what you've done, Benjamin. <laughs> I don't want to hear anybody out there calling people rattlesnake ladies. <laughs> I rushed things with her. My parents tried to reason with me, but I was egotistic. It's now over. I thank God for delivering me. I'm now free and waiting on God's direction. <laughs> Yeah. That's <laughs> side eye, Benjamin. Side eye. That's Emmanuel from Kahawa West. Another says, Hey, Benjamin Joyce. I've been in a relationship for six years now. Initially, I never knew this guy was a divorcee, and the case was still not over. The lady got married later. This man is ever broke, and I guess I have to provide for him. He's employed, though. <laughs> oh my gosh. I sometimes feel so used. That's Stella. Another says, hey, Joyce and Benjamin, tell men also if they hit their 30s, they should also refrain from hitting on the 24 and less year old because they are also still naive. I was scammed at that age and got pregnant only to realize this guy is a narcissist, an irresponsible man, and also a drunkard fool. Oh, my. Okay. <laughs> The language here today. It's now <laughs> seven years and two kids, but a very bad life. If only I would change the past, I would. Clearly, a lot of people have gone through very difficult situations, and they're quite bitter. I need to wrap up, but uh, maybe you can just summarize your final thoughts to them and also give us your handles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're saying... It, it, you can just like in, in the market, in the market where we buy things, also in the dating world, we have conmanship. We have people wanting to take advantage of you. Yeah. And I told those in the universities that narcissists, irresponsible people, go for you when you are still naive, when you still don't know how to read people. <sighs> Hold your horses. Mm. Be mm. patient. Sometimes the devil is in the timing. Mm. The devil is in the timing. If mm. you miss the timing, you can just go wrong even if you thought you were right. Only to wake up to it later. Wow. And we will continue that. And for men especially, I want to tell men, sometimes the hunter becomes the hunted. Mm -hmm. And he gets caught in his cunningness. Yeah. <laughs> when he thinks, <laughs> like the one who said, I rushed to things. My parents tried to reason with me. Yeah. I want to ask men to leave young girls alone and Please. go date mature women. My social media... <sighs> Yes, Facebook, please. Benjamin Zulu KE. <laughs> Benjamin Zulu KE. Everywhere else also. Email Benjamin Zulu KE at Gmail, Instagram, and Twitter, Benjamin Zulu KE. <laughs> wow. What a discussion. Thank you so much for coming, Benjamin. <laughs> we'll Next see time you. we need a fire, 
fire extinguisher. <laughs> I know, literally. I'm not, you, you need a bucket. A bucket of cold ice water. We'll be back after this with our nutritionist next. Stay tuned. This is Full Circle with Joyce. <laughs>